Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm struggling. I'm so struggling. This weather has made life so difficult. Usually we don't get weather this early in the season and it happened out of nowhere. It was warm, boom. It was minus 20 degrees in the night last night. When we went down to the barn this morning, Willow was shivering again. So, um, uh, we gotta make changes, guys. We gotta make changes. Sam works next to the meteorologist at his work and he said that next week it's gonna be plus 15 degrees. So it's gonna get better again and we're gonna have more time to prepare. It happened so fast this weather that we didn't have time to prepare. Any of you guys living in a warm climate or a warmer climate, climate might not understand how bad the struggle is. We are so struggling and everything that we do, it takes so much longer. We have these big huge pants and boots on and there are no mittens out there warm enough to keep your hands warm for any length of time in this weather. I feel really bad for the horses. I've had a big huge meeting with Fiona and we're gonna make a bunch of changes. You guys know that the boys are going to another barn and they're gonna be outdoor board. It's gonna only be an outdoor board situation. It's only gonna be for a few months. Months. It's gonna be awful for us. We are gonna be putting the ponies in the stalls at night because I don't want to blanket them if I don't have to. And they probably are only needing it right now because of the really extreme temperatures and only through the night. Willow doesn't, when we go back down to feed lunch, she, she's always, she'll be fine. She's not shivering. Also, we started feeding hay, more hay yesterday, obviously. Um, we are gonna start putting the boys in the arena at night. And it's heartbreaking to me, like, I'm ready for them to go. Are you ready, Gabby, for them to go to their new barn? I'm ready because it's gonna make it easier for us to ride. Right now, everything is a struggle. Everything, like, it's such, oh, I'm ready to move to Florida. You wanna move to Florida? She said no. We, we never leave Fiona, you guys. We never leave her. She is tried and true. You do not leave what works. Anyway, we're gonna make changes like that. I was gonna blanket Willow, um, but I'm gonna try this first. And if I was gonna blanket her, I was only gonna blanket her at night, on really cold nights, because I don't want her to lose her coat and her ability to warm herself. So I got this app for the girls not that long ago. What's it called? Elephant Learning? Elephant Learning, and right now they're doing chapters. No, right now they're doing fractions, and they're I've, actually- I've already known fractions. Yeah, I know, but you do fractions every year until like college. Like you do fractions every year. It, you just, they just get more advanced. Very good. Anyways, it's so weird. It's like, kind of like, I don't know how to explain the app. It's weird, it's called Elephant Learning and it progresses as they progress, but they both pick it up like that. It's insane. Uh, Sam and I are going to go shopping to buy a uh, to the tax store. I'll show you guys what we need when we get there. But I just want to show you this. See that drink? Sam came from work and brought me a drink. And it makes me love him so much more than normal. And I always tell you guys, the way to bond with your horse is to do kind things for them. And I, it's the same with people, you guys. Do kind things for everyone and they will all love you. It's so cold, you guys. Like, our, we're supposed to have lessons tonight and they might get canceled because of the weather. It's that cold. Oh, it's so cold. No time to video in the barn. Yesterday we sat there. I checked Willow and she's good. So Fiona said she's probably just getting cold when the sun's gone down. So sick over that. I can't believe that that happened and I didn't know. And that's the part that's hard is when I make mistakes. And whether I know better or not, we're always gonna make mistakes but we're gonna fix it. That's the one thing about me is that I always am paying attention and always noticing everything. I don't take let anything, I don't take anything for granted and I uh, pay attention and yeah, unfortunately, oh poor little thing. I don't know why she didn't build a coat though. A friend that sent me a picture of her, I saw a picture of my friend's mini and she's triple the amount of fur that Willow has and I know Willow has had really good fur. So my guess, uneducated guess is that it's because she spends so much time in the shelter so even though it's not like super warm or anything there but because she spends so much time during the day in there that she's behind on her coat because her body thinks it's warmer than it is do you think that sounds feasible yeah that's my guess because she's healthy I don't know all the rest of her horses are doing okay so um, yeah we're gonna be making changes but right now we're headed off to go shopping 
and see what we can get for Finny Boy. Tonight is gonna be the first night that Gracie sleeps in the stall and I feel bad for her because I know she doesn't love it, but it's gonna be cold and I need to keep her warm. So, there's actually a blanket here that's super mega warm, not this one. Let's go in. Straight, straight to the blankets. So basically, this is the one I want. I'm gonna show it to you. If I can find it. Okay, so I think it's this one. This is the one. Oh, that's the Noble one. And Noble doesn't sell here anymore. So it's this one. Oh, it's this one. I don't love black. So we got the 500 gram. And the reason we did is because he already has uh, 300 gram. So this is that's how cold it was last night that horses could handle. Outside horses could handle this warm of a blanket. I'm gonna end up going back and getting one for Storm. This says that it has three heat control and it says that the yellow layer is 200 grams, the orange is 300 and then the red is 500. And I don't know what that means because it's all one heavy blanket. Like I don't think that you can unzip them or whatever. I don't have to look it up. I know that Fiona saw the blanket and said that she wanted one because it's really nice. They're really nice so maybe that is but anyway for any of you guys who think that Sophie does not get as much stuff as Gabby you should know that this blanket was as much as Gabby's boots and even though it's for the, her horse we count it all the same if I buy a blanket like this for Gabby's horse then that counts as buying something for Gabby in my mind I'm freaking out because I'm late and I'm trying to catch the mini and I got the girth I got the halter and I'm trying to catch her and I'm chasing her around and I look to the I look to the right and Gracie is right there. She sees the halter. She's like, take me! Take me! And I can't take her. That's too bad. Come here, sweet Minnie. <sighs> this is a disaster zone, you guys. This has been the worst day. <sighs> Last time I ever complained. I feel like karma is biting me. Alright, so I had to put all the horses in the stalls. We're taking Stella and Finn for lessons. Gracie's gonna stay. You're already peeing, marking his spot as your as yours. To put Gracie in there. I had to put Willow in here because I couldn't leave Dim Bit, whatever you want to call him, Dim Wit, alone. <sighs> so yeah, all the horses are in their stalls, in stalls. Gracie's first time ever. I had to break all the ice, and I had to, the problem is that I had to do it all myself because. The girls had other things that they had to do and I, it's just a mess. Like, I couldn't put the horses in until they got all their stuff together and got their horses out. Finn was in his stall. Like, unless we all work together as a well-oiled machine, chaos ensues and this was a chaotic moment. So now I'm not gonna get to ride because we're late. And that sucks because I really wanted to ride, but you know what, I'm just gonna take one for the team and look at the positive side why because if i don't i feel bad for putting out a bad example you guys are trying to make me into a good person oh, anyway let's go to lessons all right so now that it has cooled down a bit and i've cooled down a bit i'm still sad that i'm not going to get to ride but fiona told me that her and her husband are have been out uh car shopping so chances are she wasn't going to get to the barn in time either and just so it works out but that's the thing like I've learned over time to always listen to God. When things like this happen, nothing, everything happens for a reason. And I mean that from the biggest detail down to the most tiniest detail ever. And we couldn't get it together. I was struggling. I was like getting mad at everybody, screaming orders, do this, do that. And all I did was get everybody stressed out before they're on their way to a riding lesson where they want them to be happy and be in a good frame of mind. And now, Everybody's just upset because we had such a bad experience. But I know in my heart that when things like that happen and I'm gonna miss my riding, it's be God has, a, there's a reason for it. There's a reason I'm not meant to ride today and God knows what it is. I don't know what it is. It sounds so simple and like it's just an excuse, but I have seen so many situations happen where God has told me through a sign like that, that this, don't do this, don't do this. And I always listen, you guys, I always listen. So if things happen, just take it with a grain of salt and realize that there's a bigger plan. God knows what's happening. And if something doesn't happen, it's because it's not supposed to. But anyway, 
Gabby is going to be riding Stella today because Storm has a big gash in his head and we just felt like the bridle would come across there and hurt him and every time like you do a big bang on the ground it'd be like knocking your head and he's got a hole in his head and Sophie's probably going to ride Finn and Finn's probably going to be so happy. He's happy in the, in the trailer because Finn loves Stella. He loves her. Look at how peaceful. He's well, not... Yeah, he does bite her butt. Why is he a butt fighter? But look at how peaceful. You're okay. It's okay, Stella Bell. I feel bad. There's cows, you guys. You're okay. Look at the baby cows. They're so cute! Did you guys bring uh, brushes? Hey, handsome. Let me get. I'm the eye booger queen. See? See how he shakes his head no matter what? As long as he doesn't like it? Oh, that's what he does. <laughs> I wish I had wore my snow pants because instead of riding, I'm going to be sitting and I'm going to be cold. Well, that's why you need riding snow pants. You have a riding lesson. Yeah, she get riding. Canceled. That's what Gabby wants, right? Yes, I want the riding snow pants. Yeah. Oh, look at that, princess. Your shoes. Okay, hurry up. Let's get ready. Your shoes are hard. To hi. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? Do you see how she's like? Oh, hi there. All the duck stays on. I just don't like the dunk junk in your eye. I'm sorry. Aww. Look at how much better she is at it than Finn. Oh, well, did you hear her as soon as she got off the trailer? She snorted. So loud, I was snorting like all the way from the morning. When I was telling somebody today that... As that, soon as she saw the cow, she calmed down. I was telling somebody today, because she has a good brain. I was telling someone today that she just is all the stress and worry seems to be gone from this girl's body. Like, even we're at a different place. No, it's not the quiescence. I give Finn, um, I give Finn magnesium. And does he seem calm? No. <laughs> I was walking toward him and he was waiting for me to get the gunk out of his eye. So as I was walking toward him, he's like, oh. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but he knew. He was, Come on, get, get checked up. Oh, do you see he looks thinner? He doesn't look as puffy without all that grass. <laughs> Oh, having horses is so stressful. Oh, I know. I just called him fat. Now he's not. You know what? The biggest. Yesterday he was fat. You know the. You know the biggest stress about having horses. I'm going to tell it to you right now. Get ready. Get your pen. Write it down. This is it. I have to translate what everybody says because I don't have all the experience yet. So when people say, "Oh, don't worry about your fat horse in winter. They'll shiver." and wear off the fat that that's not good but when you don't know you have to figure out what that means or if they say like every single thing that horse owners say you have to decode it you have to figure it out like it's hard that's what's hard old Stella the nice amazing horse Stella Stella on love is so different like I can't even get over it like she, she's like who's riding me it's Gabby see the helmet that means that she's riding you okay so hurry up Sophie get your bridle on yeah like what a difference in her like the he's warming up the bit it is warming up the bit season. It's warming up the bit season, Stella Bell. Stella's like so nice. Like when I said to the girl at the tech store, I feel like our horses are more like dogs than horses. Like they don't act like horses. She doesn't, yeah, like she doesn't get all. And I blame it on the fact that when they're home with us and we see them every day. And two, and two it's Gabby. kids, yeah. Like if horses are raised around noise and action and chaos, then. I know a lot of you guys are going to say then it's going to stress them out, but it is what you get used to. It is what you're... Is it warm yet? 
kids make the best socializers. They socialize animals into every situation because they're so crazy, right? And our horses have gotten better from kids, not worse. Right, Stella Bell? So we're gonna show you the magic that is Stella with the bit. This is how Stella puts the bit in. And this is why when I was trying to put Denver's in, I'm like, I can't do it! And Fiona's like, he doesn't just eat it, you have to put it in. But watch, this is what I'm used to. Hi, pretty. She's like... You just put it in front of her and she gobbles it up. One time she was so mad at me and impatient with me that she just gobbled it when I wasn't ready. Yeah. Love her. <laughs> and this is how Finn gets the bit. <laughs> oh gosh. Careful on his teeth. <laughs> Does he usually do this? Does he usually do this? No. Put your... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's the difference between a horse saying, yeah, let's go for a ride, and a horse saying, no.